The season premiere of SmackDown emanates from Tulsa and kicks off with John Cena. He welcomes the crowd to the show but gets cut off. He's back. The tribal chief, the head of the table, the undisputed WWE champion. Roman Reigns returns to SmackDown for the first time since Jey Uso quit WWE, I believe. Roman questions Cena's GOAT status, saying the tribal chief is the GOAT. Reigns then tells Cena to leave or the bloodline will make him leave. Cena tells Roman that he's not here to challenge him because he hasn't earned it but he knows someone who has. As Ellie Knight's music hits and the megastar comes to the ring. Huge pop like usual, things are about to get interesting. Knight introduces himself to Roman with help from the fans of course and criticises Roman for sitting at home for the last two months. Just as Knight is about to get rolling, he gets jumped by Jimmy Uso. Cena can't help because Solo blocks him off but Knight throws Jimmy out of the ring and tells Roman he can be next. Roman and Solo bail to the floor where Roman tells Solo to forget about Cena and handle Knight. Solo challenges Ellie Knight to a match tonight, Knight accepts in his own way, saying he'll stomp out Solo and use him as a mop, so it looks like the main event is set. Elton Prince can walk again, it's a miracle after his shoulder injury. Pretty deadly take on the brawling brutes, it's bold to have Elton's return match against the guy who injured him, that being Ridge Holland. Even bolder is having Elton Prince pull up injured in the match, the referee checks on him while Ridge fears for his job. It's a ruse as Kit Wilson kicks Holland and Elton Prince rolls him up for the win. Yes boys, pretty deadly win on the return. We we get a backstage interview with Carlito, he says his return was cool and pulls out an apple but gets interrupted by Bobby Lashley. He distracts Carlito so the Street Profits can hit him from behind. Bobby looks at Carlito with a chair but officials get in to separate them and send Lashley and the Profits away. The LWO come to check on Carly but Bailey wants to talk to Adam Pearce about celebrating Eosky's big one at Fastlane. Bailey and Zelina get in a shouting match so Pearce makes a match between them for later tonight. Backstage, Roman tells Jimmy Uso that every day Jay Uso holds a tag team title, it disrespects the bloodline, especially having Cody Rhodes as his partner. Roman tells Jimmy to handle it, which Jimmy promises he will do. Bailey, with damage control, and Selena Vega, who's all alone, come out for their match. Bailey gets the rose plant for the win, but after the match, she and Io beat down Selena. Charlotte Flair plods down, looking like Bambi on rollerblades, trying to run in those heels as damage control bravely run away. I was dying. It looked like Charlotte was Selena's mum. Selena looked tiny next to her. Why did they do her like that? Triple H is here for a special announcement. It's always big when Tripper shows up. He's joined in the ring by Adam Pearce. It's reminiscent of when Pep Guardiola meets Eric Ten Hag. We all know who is who. It's actually Pearce that Triple H wants to talk about. He thanks Pearce for his job as a WWE official the last three years, but acknowledges Pearce's job is too hard for one man. He announces Pearce is going to be the general manager of Raw, and just as Tripper is about to announce the general manager of SmackDown, he gets interrupted by dirty Dominic Mysterio. Dom says it's an injustice that Jey Uso and Cody Rhodes are defending the tag team championships tonight against a -Town down under as it jeopardises Judgment Day's title shot on Monday. Triple H tells Dom he's getting mad at the wrong people. He should take up with the general manager of SmackDown as it's revealed to be Nick Aldis, former NWA World Heavyweight Champion. He shakes hands with Triple H and thanks him for the opportunity. He tells Pierce he's excited for the healthy competition between the two brands and tells Dom he's a big fan of his dad. Aldis discusses the Jey Uso situation, explaining that because Cody Rhodes took Jey Uso to Raw, that SmackDown get a Raw superstar in return. That superstar is revealed to be Kevin Owens, who comes down to the ring, stuns Dirty Dom, and celebrates with Nick Aldis. Things just got really interesting with that shake-up. Backstage, Nick Aldis tells Charlotte Flair she will get a women's championship match next week against Io Sky because Bailey robbed her at Fastlane. As Charlotte leaves, she comes face-to-face -face with Jade Cargill as the two have a moment. Future WrestleMania I match that for sure. Jey Uso and Cody Rhodes defend the WWE Tag Team Championships against A-Town Down Under. That's Austin Theory and Grayson Waller if the terrible pun name went over your head. Jay and Cody hit their tag finisher, Jay dives onto Waller and Cody hits Crossroads to pin Theory and retain. I've been brainstorming ideas on what to call their finisher. It's a 3D combined with a Cody Cutter, so I've settled the debate. It's the 3C. 3D plus Cody Cutter combo makes 3C. After the match, the champions head up the ramp but come face to face with Solo Sokoa and Jimmy Uso, but then Roman Reigns joins them as he and Cody go face to face for the first time since the Raw after WrestleMania. The the story continues and we will see how it unfolds going into Survivor Series and beyond. Solo Sokoa is in the ring, it's main event time as Solo goes one on one with LA Knight. Jimmy Uso runs down to try to interfere but gets an AA from John Cena. He gets spiked by Solo but Solo suffers some BFT as Knight beats Solo. Knight gets his celebrations cut off as Roman Reigns spears him and stands over the megastar to end the show. Thank you
Thank you so much for watching my Smackdown review. What a great show for the season premiere. Show your support by liking, subscribing and leaving comments saying what you liked about the show, what you didn't like about the show and what you think I can do to improve. Hopefully you'll stick around and I'll see you all next time.